here at LiveWorks 17, and we're here to uh, demonstrate the PTC Perk real-time Java product, executing a real-time application. And uh, real-time means that if you ever have a deadline to complete a task in your software from an event that occurs, you need to accomplish that, that uh, calculation or, or send an output or do something in response to that input, you have to do that within a deadline. And anytime there's a deadline, you have a real-time requirement. So in this demonstration, the real-time requirement is to be able to detect a red ping pong ball as it rolls across a light sensor with a red LED that's reflecting light off the ball. And so when the, when the red ball goes over the, over the sensor, you'll get more light reflected than with a blue ball, for example. And so we detect that with our computer program running Java, and the IoT gateway then says, okay, it's a red ball, we're gonna fire a solenoid and eject the ball off the side of the track. And so that's our basic real-time requirement in this demonstration, it's an industrial sorter kind of simulation. Uh, so the, uh, the actual time delay over that sensor is about 20 milliseconds, and it takes about five milliseconds to fire the solenoid. So you only have about 15 milliseconds, 15 thousandths of a second, to detect the right sensor value to know that it's a red ping pong ball. So that's what we're uh, here to show off. And we're actually gonna do it with two IoT gateways, identical hardware, uh, identical Java application running on each of them. One is running PTC Perk, which is our real-time JVM. The other is running a traditional Java virtual machine. And uh, there's a problem with traditional Java virtual machines, which we'll talk about in a minute, and we'll show how that uh, we can do things a little differently than they can. So let's, let's talk about the traditional Java side of things. Uh, traditional Java is a, is a great product. It has a great uh, ecosystem. The language is uh, immensely popular. It's being taught in every college and in, in university in the world. It's great for server-based applications. It's great for uh, uh, you know Android development. is a big Java uh, user. So Java is a great uh, tool, a great language, a great ecosystem. But it has a fatal flaw. It's called a garbage collector. So the garbage collector is great in the sense of its features. It has automatic garbage collection. So any objects that you create in your program will be automatically collected when they're not used anymore and the memory is reclaimed by the garbage collector. So PTC Perk also has a garbage collector but it's a real-time GC so it can operate in a way that doesn't delay Java uh, execution. When uh, Java runs uh, its garbage collector sometimes it has to stop all of the Java programs from running and that causes those programs to be delayed in their operation. So we're going to show that on the Java side here first. So our application is sorting the ping pong balls. And as you see, the red ones are getting ejected off the side of the track. We're going to turn on the stressor. This is a background Java thread that is actually going to generate dead objects for the garbage collector to collect. So we're going to keep him busy now. And we see that the delay associated with the sensor is jumping up to a very large number in the essence of, you know, tens of, or even hundreds of milliseconds, uh, the, uh, the garbage collector will cause the foreground thread to, to be delayed. So you can imagine we're going to lose opportunities to sense that red ping pong ball as it goes over the sensor. In fact, the missed samples count on the display here is showing how many times that sensor missed an opportunity to, to run to check the, the status of the sensor by more than 20 milliseconds because that's our window of opportunity. So every time it's gone more than 20 milliseconds, it could have missed a red ball going over the top of the, of the sensor. So now we notice that that delay is, is uh, staying very high with the stress obvious going on. Let's switch to the PTC perk side. We'll turn on the stress on that one. Again, we're generating the same number of dead objects per second, and we're forcing the garbage collector in the uh, PTC perk uh, virtual machine to run, and that's now operating successfully you see the green line on the on the top going down as the free memory drops for the stressor but then the garbage collector is making it bounce back up again as he collects those dead objects and he'll he'll oscillate again just like the java side did but now you'll notice that the delay value is staying very low maximum delay is under three milliseconds and that will continue to be the case uh, with ptc perk and so you have an opportunity to run real-time applications written in java on a PTC Perk VM with uh, guarantees of, of response time uh, being there for you. So it's deterministic, predictable uh, execution of your Java application on an IoT gateway or other embedded system that needs real-time response.